Let's take to take that competition seriously. And they'll be pleased tonight. Some of the things are then to be able to call on Sergio Ramos, Luka Modric, Luis Rodriguez. Their first action of pre season. It's going to be tough for them to get up to speed before that game on Tuesday against Sevilla. Getting to know you exercise for many, but the two coaches know each other well. Barnes, former Real Madrid coach, Carlo Ancelotti, his former assistant Zinedine Zidane, who was once a player under Ancelotti at Juventus in Italy. And Zidane, who was alongside Ancelotti when he delivered La Decima, a tenth Champions League for Real Madrid. Ten is now 11. His job at Bayern will be to add the Champions League to the four successive Bundesliga wins which the current German champions have enjoyed. Bayern and Real Madrid playing in front of a capacity crowd of 82,000. Underlines just why they're regarded as two of the biggest names in club football. It's a game that everybody wants to see. The average attendance for Real Madrid's three fixtures. Now more than a quarter of a million. Bayern, with their club membership approaching 200,000 worldwide, have been seen by around 200,000. Enjoyed their time in the United States as well. 3-3 draw with Milan, a 4-1 win over Inter Milan in Charlotte as well, where they had 73% of the possession. They did lose against Milan in a penalty shootout, and penalties, the way that these will be decided should the scores be level after 90 minutes. Phenomenal support for Bayern in the United States, as there is for Real Madrid. Doesn't matter how many are missing. There's a full team missing for Bayern Munich because of injury and the demands of international competition. Bayern Munich is short of a full team of regulars, either injured or given time off falling Euro. 2016. Frank Ribery is the notable absentee here, having already done enough to impress the new coach Carlo Ancelotti with his contributions against AC and Inter Milan. Xavi Alonso gets the chance to start against his former club. Real Madrid are still without Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale, but Sergio Ramos, Luka Modric, James Rodriguez are all back. Vara Morata is ready to establish himself as a first-team regular, having returned from Juventus. Mariano Diaz is also impressed on tour, but he has to settle for a seat this evening on the Real Madrid bench. Jaime Herrera is our referee. Bayern are itching to get going. Underway in New Jersey, and it is Bayern Munich who get us underway. 3-3 draw for them. It's out of the range. Good to see it had it well covered. He had it well covered. I think it needs to show a little bit more authority towards the players that were doing the job in the wall. It wasn't a great wall. It wasn't organised particularly well. I'm not sure they were listening to his demands. Just streaming in the wall for a player that we know. Who's, who's been given an extended break for in the European Championship. Xabi Alonso. It's a brilliant ball in. And Vidal perhaps should have done better. I just wonder if he's 
Mitrovic has done as he's told. It's Alaba. My, that was close. And Kiko Garcia didn't move. He was just glancing across, wasn't he? Hoping for the best. And the goalkeeper is lucky. It's an excellent set piece from Alaba. A real free kick specialist. Let it go. It was his stoppage time equaliser, which just took the final into extra time. Well, there might be something on here for Bayern. Green frustrated. Xavi Alonso. Alaba. Thiago. It's brilliantly done. And the shot is tipped away in the end by Kiko Garcia. Brilliant play for Thiago. Gets the crowd on its feet. And there's Kiko Garcia diving full length to turn it round the post. So far, so good for Carlo Ancelotti. He knows that his job is to deliver the UEFA Champions League for Bayern, something which eluded Pep Guardiola. Wherever he goes, he seems to have friends. Of course, he's taken on another of his former clubs, Milan, on this particular United States tour. Warm embrace for Marcelo. So the second half underway with the Real Madrid having made those three changes. Nacho coming on in defence, given time off after the European Championship, having returned from Borussia Dortmund. Morata. Flores chance wasted. No wonder Bayern are furious. They felt that a flank should have been raised for an offside then. It looks a close call. Alaba just drifts back into play, doesn't he? And he's in danger there, playing Morata onside. Morata under pressure from two Bayern players throwing himself at the ball. Rafinha and Feltman just left. Bayern a little bit more open now in front of the, the two central defenders. Vasquez. Let's come back off the post from Isco. There was a chance from nothing, and he's looking to get there a second time around. And although he missed the header, Carvajal also missed the target with the follow-up shot. Oh, can forget Carvajal's attempt. It was all about the attempt from Isco. It's a word of players surrounded him. Grabs his foot around it, gets the pace on it. It's a little bit of curl, but it just curls away from the goal and off the upright. He's been a, an outstanding midfield player as well, where he could actually step into midfield with the ball, run through the gaps and commit some Real Madrid defenders. It's a thumping hit by Alaba, who was swiftly onto that loose ball when it flashed across the Real Madrid penalty area. I think it's wishful thinking on Alaba's part, or was there a touch from, from Kiko Casilla? Flurry of changes. Certainly a youthful Real Madrid. Danilo! Oh, that's magnificent! All his own work! Real still sorting themselves out after making three changes. And it's one of their earlier substitutes who's made the breakthrough, Danilo. Talking about the youthful Real Madrid, that's the senior pro, Danilo. Big money signing, still finding his feet at Real Madrid. Cuts inside and unleashes an unstoppable drive onto his left foot. Not his strongest foot. Sven Uri. Just wonder whether the goalkeeper thinks it's going to go over the crossbar. Goes directly over the goalkeeper's head. Plenty of movement on the ball. Plenty of swerve. Deep. Danilo gets the opening goal of the game. So not the most 
demonstrative of goalkeepers, is he? I've only seen the majority of goalkeepers organising a walk. Again, he's happy with just the three players. It's Thiago! Maybe looking unflustered and untroubled. It may be just from that distance he prefers. Just the three-man wall so he can see it a little bit more because Vasquez goes to join him alongside Pantovic. Tiago again just drifts off target. Helped on by Tiago. Kiko Garcia stretching. Again, happy that he had that shot covered. See Danilo cutting inside. <laughs> so that enjoys that. An expensive signing. Constantly fighting for his place. And suddenly goals. Danilo with possibly the winning goal of this game. What a goal. Swerve on that attempt from Mariano is capable of the spectacular as he showed against Chelsea. No backlift at all. He has a specific technique. It's almost a side foot. Action. Could be chance for a second. Kept out by. All right. Well, he's had a couple of chances now, Mariano Diaz. He's unlucky on this one, he's denied. And you threw an enthusiasm over Real Madrid. He's keeping him going right to the very end. Not looking to protect a goal. To be fair, the three of them are all standing. Not given an inch, but it does, does appear. As if it is Diaz. Mariano Diaz. Went for the spectacular and was well wide. I don't think they're going to get that ball back. But Real Madrid have done their job. They've enjoyed success in their final fixture in the United States. Next for them is the UEFA Super Cup. A trip to Norway to take on Sevilla. Danilo with a thumping goal late in the second half having been introduced as a substitute by Zinedine Zidane the apprentice has got one over his former boss Carlo Ancelotti and in the MetLife Stadium in New Jersey it's finished by Munich nil Real Madrid 1